It's really sad how comfortable everyone has gotten being mean to each other on the internet. I get it you're being a troll does that give you? Confidence? Moral superiority? It's just sad and annoying. Especially in a debate like thread they just say something nasty about someone's appearance it's rude and just not cool. It's also because people don't seem to possess the capacity for self-doubt. Everyone seems to be so sure of everything. And disagreeing means you're some horrible person because what else could it be? Discussing things on Reddit has become exhausting. This and Twitter are just places for people to spit their anger in bad faith. Give some people a mask, and they show you their true face. The internet is a hopeless pit of despair nowadays. Being a troll is not the same as being mean. You can be the nicest person or act like one and be a terrific troll. And you can be absolutely genuine but the meanest piece of shit. Anonymity online is the reason so you better expect people to be rude online because it's too easy to throw tantrums and let your negative emotions go out. How comfortable everyone has gotten. This is the internet. It has always been that way. Especially in spaces where people are anonymous. Not sure if this is unpopular. And it's definitely not a new thing. Trolls have existed pretty much right from the start. I think the tone online has gotten somewhat worse. But people seem to be more polite than ever in person. Maybe the two are even related. Especially in a debate like thread they just say something nasty about someone's appearance it's rude and just not cool. That kind of thing is why I rarely bother to argue about anything online anymore. Too often it just devolves into personal attacks. It's tiring. I feel like on the internet. Because you're not actually in front of the person you're commenting on. People lack empathy and find it easier to be annoyed at small things. Also, there's no proper repercussions to being so hateful. You're more likely to get called out embarrassed in public. People who are assholes on the internet or probably don't get much fresh air either. My friend once said, your instincts of conflict avoidance do not kick in when online as they would offline because you could risk physical altercations or lose social capital. We have a switch on in our brain which makes us appeasing in real-life conversation to some extent. A Reddit or YouTube conversation is something that our brains have not yet developed sufficiently to deal with so people behave like maniacs. Back when I was a kid, older kids and probably adults used to pick on me and my friends. They're a bunch of sad people. Well, the more hateful it looks, the more entertaining it is to some people. I think it's like toxic therapy. People have their own shit going on so they decide to take it out on PPL. I won't lie. I've done it before. Hey, fuck you. Civility is short in supply. Not suggesting violence as a solution. But before the internet, being a troll meant consequences. Like a pop in the nose. People have gotten so used to not get punched in the face. Gerald Broflovsky has entered the chat. Hum, I think what you're seeing is a lot of young users coming online to comment, which usually leads to a lot of trolling. I used to troll back in the day, but over time, realized it was a waste of my time as well. But younger kids have a lot of free time. I think of it like teens being able to drive on their own for the first little while and just acting like idiots. The aggression can be so unnecessary. Even if you're like calm down they go why should I or something. Or they like to say how angry you are. When you're not even angry. And just assuming and gaslighting you. It just shows the type of person that you're dealing with. Not to contribute to your topic, but do you really think that's an unpopular opinion? I feel like it's all about superiority. I guess their mindset is the meaner you are.
the cooler you seem to yourself. I think it's about time that we return their ad hominem replies to them. Agreed. It's hard to meet kind people at all anymore, in person and online. When I first got into a heated argument with a stranger online back in the day my first thing I'd say was like, bet you wouldn't say that to my face if we were face to face. I grew up where you actually had to fight if things got heated. I wasn't used to internet punks. Now I just avoid online heat and comments because it's just stupid. Agree hate this new generation of trolls. It's funny watching my comment go from 1 to 10,000. Being mean on the internet doesn't make you tough or cool it just makes you a bully. It's really alarming because it shows who they truly are. Shows also how fake they've been. I saw each shut up, net face. I completely agree. And their reason is always just welcome to the internet buddy. Not a justification. Yes I agree like there was one time when I agreed with someone and they told me to off myself. Like what's the point of trolling and saying that to someone who agreed with you? Also I never agree with telling anyone to off themselves he said KYS by the way just unsure how the mods feel about me putting that. It was weird. I never got it people claim it's to get a rise or not serious but they are usually saying very not nice things and are being negative. Negativity isn't funny. There's a difference between trolling and being an asshole. And unfortunately some people don't seem to understand that. There's nothing wrong with intentionally doing something to piss someone off. But once you start throwing insults or slurs around, that's when you need to stop. Harassing and bullying someone isn't trolling. After listening to Hate Radio Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Alex Jones, conservatives accepted it as normal behavior in real life first. Then it spread to the internet because of anonymity. Trump further normalized hate. Not just on the internet. Also off the internet. There has always been the odd asshole here and there but they're everywhere now. The lack of kindness to strangers is shocking to me. But when you come across it, it's really something. Sucks worse when people don't grow out of it. I totally agree. People are bigger CNTS now than ever before online and it's just sad. Honestly how you treat people here on Reddit similar to the grocery cart test. How you treat people anonymously is who you are. Take great care with that. I hate you. I have seen literal adults picking on kids on the internet. How nasty. It's not even just trolls. Some people are so full of snark just responding to someone else's question comment. This I 100 agree. It has to do with anonymity and people you know not knowing what you do online. Not to mention there are not many consequences for being that mean of a person online. Online you basically can say whatever and get down votes, suspension or bans but offline there is a much higher chance for more grave consequences such as jail time. TLDR anonymity is the reason. Better solution don't be sensitive. I like to say that it's not that people are mean in the internet. It's just that people will both give and take more. If you can't handle it, stay away from rough places online. That being said, you should only be rude if you at least know the people you talk to are gonna be able to handle it. If you think this is mean you should be thankful you weren't on Reddit at the start everyone was. Mean to everyone but it much more of a frat mentality just jokes and being an ass mixed in with. Really informative stuff. Now it's like a snowflake retreat where everyone has to kiss ass or agree with whatever progressive. Change is being pushed or you're downvoted to hell. Definitely nicer now than it used to because they'll just ban you if you say anything mean.